Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to the closing Del Mar weekend edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Well, we almost have the 2016 summer meeting in the books, but we have a big weekend coming up here at the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club, headlined by the big two-year-old grade one events. The Del Mar Futurity will be on Monday, but Saturday, the women, the young ladies, the Phillies take center stage in the grade one Del Mar Deputante, and the field is headlined by American Cleopatra. Yes, the full sister to Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh will try to take after her big brother and get it done in the two-year-old grade one event. If you remember, American Pharaoh won the Del Mar Futurity as a maiden for trainer Bob Baffert back a couple of years ago. Wow, can American Cleopatra do it? They didn't think she was going to win in her debut. She went off at a 7-1, to one, amazingly, in a maiden special weight field, broke alertly, stalked the early pace setter, and ran on well under jockey Stuart Elliott. Well, Rafael Bayerano will take the mount this time. The blinkers come off. American Cleopatra, likely one of the favorites. The morning lines come out later on today. And then you've got the other Bob Baffert runner, noted and quoted. This horse ran an incredible fourth with a really troubled trip in a, maiden, in a key race maiden special weight event at the beginning of the meet. Came back a few weeks later, romped the field, going away. Loved the way this filly finished in that one. Mike Smith will take the reins as he took in the first race. Smith, who's coming off that big win on Arrogate, a couple big wins at Saratoga, in fact, I love where this horse drew the five post outside of his chief rivals, noted and quoted at the right price as a play for me on Saturday. And then you have one of the other favorites along with American Cleopatra. You've got Champagne Room, the winner of the Sorrento, ran second in the debut to the uh, fellow rival in this race, Morgan Idol, I'll speak about in a minute. But Champagne Room drew outside as a maiden in the Sorrento and ran down Miss Southern Miss in the lane. Really like the looks of this Broken Vow filly. And I think Champagne Room is a special one that will really like the added distance, six and a half now to seven. Probably a two-turn animal moving forward, but Champagne Room to me would be my value line favorite in this spot. And then you have the aforementioned Morgan Knight, who beat these horses, Champagne Room, and noted and quoted in her debut back in July, has not run since, but has trained very well for Heronis Racing and John Sadler, Victor Espinosa back on board. The only current concerns I have for this very talented gemologist filly is, is that she goes from five furlongs to seven furlongs, a big jump for a young filly. And also she draws inside her rivals in this one. She kind of had an outside stalking trip in her debut. It'll be interesting to see how she responds. I would think that Espinosa will have her prominently placed early, so she may have to wire this group and battle from the beginning. That's the only concern I have for Morganite. And then you have a couple of of others. You've got number one, Miss Southern Miss. DeSormo Brothers going at it again. This horse broke poorly in the Sorrento against Champagne Room, was rushed up by Kent. This time, this horse is trouble breaking, so I would assume this time Kent will take this horse back and make one run. I don't know if she's good enough to run by them all in the lane. And then you have Union Strike and Holy Mosey. Holy Mosey to me should be 50-1. to 1. Union Strike is a maiden that comes in for Shelby Ruiz. This runner ran very well in a runner-up finish to American Cleopatra. I think she moves forward in this spot. And underneath, you could do a whole lot worse at a big price for Union Strike draws outside, gets Martin Garcia up. So there you have it. We've got a really nice compact group of fillies in this one. I'm going to play noted and quoted over Champagne Room in this one. I wouldn't mind using Union Strike and Morganite underneath and boxing with those, but really looking forward to the, just seeing how these fillies take to it. Baffert loaded as always in these races, has two good ones. The Sadler filly is a total wild card. It's, you know, these other ones have raced since that uh, maiden special weight race. It'll be interesting to see how she responds adding two furlongs on, but she's super talented. They spent a ton for their, this gemologist horse. But American Cleopatra will be the headliner. She'll certainly take a lot of money this time around. 
while going off at 7-1 to one in her debut. I'm going to pass on her as I think she'll be an underlay, but what a great race it should be. And then, of course, the Del Mar Futurity on Monday to close things out. Straight Fire, Chase and Aces, and Klimt will go at it. You all know my feeling about Straight Fire. I got this horse reading the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and would be my derby horse as of now. But anyway, it's been a great meet. I hope you can join us. We'll take off a week or so on Shapcap and be back for uh, getting close as we gear up for the Santa Anita meet and then the Breeders' Cup. But thanks again for joining me. Good luck at the windows this weekend. Happy Labor Day and have a good one.